Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Monster Madness, and it's going to be A Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984, History of Horror. Oh yes, oh, Freddy Krueger, Jesus Christ, how can I forget that motherfucker? Um, yeah, uh, that guy scared the crap out of me, when, especially when you have insomnia, when you have sleeping problems. I tell you, this isn't the fucking movie to watch <laughs> if you're trying to sleep, okay? Don't watch this movie if you're trying to sleep. It is a bad idea. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street was a good movie, absolute classic, uh, it's, it introduced Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger is, um, creepy as hell, uh, with his little scissor hands, um, but, uh, let's check out the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back, it's Cinemassacre's Monster Madness. Alright. Every kid from the 80s remembers being scared to death of Freddy Krueger. Yo, shit, yeah. Now to Freddy. He was so Freak terrifying and so real at the same time. Just the idea of a killer that murders people in their dreams? <laughs> when are you more vulnerable than when you're asleep? If you're not familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street series, Freddy comes into your dreams, and if yep. you die in the dream, you die in real life. <laughs> not only does he kill people, he preys on their fear, and he enjoys it. Unlike Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees, Freddy has a face, a voice, and a witty personality. Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> Smash. Even I though love the movie that. came out the cash in the slash and flick them. franchise, it takes a completely original approach, balancing the line between horror and mild comedy. Oh, here comes the Tom. Uh, the dream concept just I've opens this up movie all so many kinds times. of possibilities. <laughs> Anything can happen in a dream, so each movie had fresh ideas of what Freddy could do. And they yeah. also continued to blur the line between dream and reality. Mm. Often the characters wouldn't know whether they're awake or asleep, which would <laughs> deliberately confuse the audience. So they really have a surreal quality to them. No, I'm playing with power! <laughs> the series ran its course, but made an icon out of Freddy Krueger. One thing really cool, unlike Michael Myers or Jason, who are played by many different actors throughout mm. the sequels, Freddy was played by Robert England every time. Damn. He's the man. Hey, you forgot the power glove. <laughs> the power glove. <laughs> and we all know how shitty that thing was. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, that was a nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. Yeah, like I said, if you got insomnia, you can't sleep like I do, and you got problems sleeping, don't fucking watch this movie for the love of Christ for all that is holy do not watch it because it is gonna keep you up um but uh yeah well maybe as a kid uh probably I still could watch it today and it still can freak the hell out of me um but I remember watching this as a kid and uh it scared the crap out of me a bit like The Exorcist as well but I think it was um I don't know I think A Nightmare on Elm Street was much more scarier than The Exorcist for me uh on some degree of level because you know, at least, I, I, you know, in The Exorcist, I was felt safe to sleep. But in A Nightmare on Elm Street, you can't really sleep because you think Freddy Krueger is going to be visiting you in your dreams. You know, so you're pretty much fucked. But either the case, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good movie. But if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>